చెప్పు ఇట్స్ నాట్ కమ్ స్టార్టెడ్ కదా పబ్లిక్ పీలో వెల్కమ్ టు ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఆఫ్ యూ ప్రజెంట్ హియర్ టుడే ఆన్ ఏప్రిల్ ఎయిత్ ఐ థింక్ ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ టైమ్ దట్ వీ డిస్కస్ ఆన్ వాట్ పోస్ట్ ఎంబీఏ లాట్ ఆఫ్ వర్డ్స్ హెవ్ బీన్ టాక్ అబౌట్ వ లాట్ ఆఫ్ questions have been raised about what an mba is all about what happens post an mba is it the first job that one has to look at or one needs to look at a lot more than just the first job and look at a career as such maybe a 10 year horizon that you start off after your mba <clears throat> so in today's uh, short session or seminar of 45 minutes i plan to take you through what really it takes for people to really do well in their careers forget about mba or an ordinary mba so my job is to try try to explain to you that the, is there a career what kind of careers do people have post an mba and more importantly is it the only thing that is available or are there choices seriously available for a lot of people in the world in in india more so and definitely for the world too my name is arks a r k s srinivas i am uh, an engineer and an mba mba from iim calcutta way back in 1997 been in the education for the last 20 odd years and uh, i think this will be a very good session if you go through it what you will get is how you should plan your career pre mba while doing an mba and even post an mba itself what makes somebody really successful i think that is what you will realize uh, at the end of this seminar and my job is not to give you instructions my job is to give you ideas and probably inspire you motivate you to make sure that look there is a lot that one can do post an mba in that sense okay with that as a bra- ba- back uh, with a, with that as a very very bra- basic background in mind uh what i will do now is take you through a presentation that i have made and that will kind of give you an idea of who you are and what really really helps you as you go about discussing or thinking about an mba and obviously post an mba okay first obviously let's look at the bad news why mba has been vilified why mba has really not done as well as it should there are multiple reasons for that the indian economy has not been going brilliantly especially uh i think between 2008 and 2014 there was a lot of bad news because of which a lot of good students also did not opt for an mba and when you see by 2016 17 only about half of the mba graduates were placed this is the lowest by what we call uh, the the uh, source aict the all india council for technical education has put up whether it is correct or not we don't even know that more imp- more than that i think outside the top 20 colleges top 20 colleges or even top 30 colleges have 100% placements every student gets a job but outside these top 30 colleges only 7% on an average again only 7% of management graduates got a job and that is a very very dangerous thing now just go back to thinking about degree or engineering in fact except again for a very few good engineering colleges a very large number of engineering colleges do not provide any jobs at the end of four years worse is the case with a ba bcom bsc or bba in that sense with that as the background in mind i think very very clearly what really should a student do 
does he spend another two years for an MBA to do an MBA and then not get a job? Even the jobs that most of them get, especially in the lower level of institutes, is not manager level jobs. There are very low pay, bad work environment jobs. So even do we do we do we really then look at MBA as the very very a serious option at all? My question, my my next 20 30 minutes if you stay with me you will realize that there are a lot of things that you need to understand about an mba before jumping to a conclusion let's look at why is this the bad news it is we, we people only talk about the bad news people only talk that mba graduates are not employable engineering graduates are not employable and the reason they say it is not because they are unemployable it's the reason say it is because something is wrong about what's happening in the college. If those of you have done their degrees or are currently doing your degrees, you will realize this, my friends, that look at how many of your classmates put in serious effort. And if you really don't understand that, you will see that, look, there is no entitlement. We are not you know, born with a silver spoon. So the reason for bad news is far easier to understand than lots of people give it a value for. And the reason is very simple. The, the basic reason is a problem of plenty. 4,000 plus business schools are there. Three and a half lakh graduates, that is B school graduates come out every year. Where are the kind of jobs? That are, are there jobs available? Of course, there are jobs available. There is zero doubt about it. But the kind of jobs available and the kind of student required to get the jobs, both are completely different. And that's what is the problem. India is growing very fast. In fact, in FY1819, this particular financial year, we the Indians are going to be the fastest growing nation in the world. Not, by, not because Modi says so. Not because Indian government says so. The IMF says so. The World Bank says so. Every independent agency says so. And there are reasons for that. And that reasons are you. The reasons is you. You when I am using the word. The young population that we have. Extremely extremely energetic provided they also do certain things unfortunately people only look at the positive side of it like i am telling you the positive side people don't understand that just because you join an mba college you will get a job no you will not why should you four years you have done engineering three years you have done your bcom and you can't understand the difference between electrical and electronics you don't understand what happens to a depreciated uh, furniture? What is the difference between a debit and credit for a single journal entry? Where will it go? Most of our students are so pathetic. I have nothing against them. It is not about teachers. It's not about uh, the thing. It's about expectations that each one of you have to be good at. Here, unfortunately, the things are bad because anybody can do an MBA and Unfortunately, as you can see again, 4,000 less business schools are there. Every university starts an MBA program. Every private university starts an MBA program. There are 750 plus universities in this country. All of them have an MBA program, private and public and government, etc. A lot of, uh, you know, private people who can have, of course, MBA does not require any labs. Therefore, if you have a nice... Uh, uh, basic infrastructure, even two classrooms, you can start off an MBA. And a lot of people think that it is that easy. It is not. We will see why. The reason is very, very easy to understand. The rot of an MBA starts with the graduation itself. As I said, how many of us remember any concepts? How many of us even understand them and more importantly, apply them? So, the rot when it starts at graduation. Remember when you were in school, a lot of you would have been very good in school. What happens is, in school, 
the, the, by the time you come to 9th and 10th, the parents would have put a lot of pressure on the marks. Some of you would have got marks, some would, have, would not have got marks. But the pressure is so much on the marks that there is nothing called learning anything. Neither the concepts nor understanding nor application of those concepts. The same persona is coming into a graduation and then of course the MBA school. So when you come to an MBA college or a school, we call it the school, you are coming with that kind of a mindset to a large, large extent. To make it worse, because there are so many business schools, so many MBA colleges like engineering, there are no good faculty members. Professors are not MBAs in the first place. And if some of them are MBAs, they are not even from the best B schools. They may have done PhD, but not from the top uh, MBA colleges PhD. They would have done from some, uh, not, nothing wrong with Assam or nothing wrong with the Northeast. But it's just that there is no quality training or research available because of which the people who do it from, you know, all kinds of uh, universities, their PhD are not really worth it. To make it worse, this is a business school. You need to learn business. You need to learn how to manage business. Which means to say, who can help you that? A person who has already worked with a corporate, uh, worked in an uh, organization, worked in the industry. If you have not worked in industry, if, for example, you want to teach sales, you should have done sales, at least for some time. I'm not saying you do your sales for 40 years. No, you would have done some sales at least in life. What we realize, in fact, for example, for us, in Vanguard Business School, we have a person who says, teaches sales and distribution management, who first worked with ITC, now working with Big Basket. Now, please understand, just to understand how it happens. Uh, ITC, the uh, 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 normal, um, uh, you know, the sales and distribution kind of a channel, the large company like ITC, and a new e-commerce kind of a company like this Big Basket. The guy has an experience in the old and the modern. Old kind of business and the new kind of business. And that guy is coming and teaching how sales and distribution happens. So is the case with, let's say, a digital marketing guy. We have a guy called Elvis who has been very good in supply chain management. So he practices in the industry and comes to Vanguard Business School and teaches. So that way, chances are very, very high that one learns uh, one learns the concepts and directly the application of the concepts. Too. Please understand that's exactly what happens in the top B schools in the world. Harvard, Stanford, uh, MIT, London Business School, INSEAD, of course, I am Ahmedabad, Calcutta, Bangalore, or any of the SPJs of the world. Likewise, our way of trying to look at it, if there is a curriculum which will get you the right kind of people to teach, then you will also learn the right kind of models as such. Flipkart model is different from an Amazon model is different from a Snapdeal model. A Jabong model is different from a Mintra model or an Amazon fashion model. A pepper fry is different from an urban ladder. A quicker is different from probably a uh, uh, housing.com. Depends on what we want. That is what you need to learn. And which is where, wherever you get this should be the way you will learn. Because if you learn that, you would be very successful in the future. So what is the right way? The right way is very, very simple. You be go so good in your work, in your two years of MBA and post that in your job that the people cannot ignore you. Because you don't have to be intelligent or have a very high IQ. You may not have got any marks till now at all. But believe me when I'm saying this because with 21 years of experience in the industry, I'm telling you this. If you have the right attitude. If you have the right attitude, you will make it. And what does it mean? Responsibility, initiative, desire, 
to learn and of course very sincere focus on quality i can talk about one of my students who just passed out from my college amresh pande from a very small place called una near kanpur lucknow guy had less than just about 50% in class 10th from a person who almost did not do anything in the north came down to bangalore working now with quicker he went to his summer internship at reliance and those guys said yaar to kahan se aaya hai in the sense that they gave him a target of 20 he made a target he he achieved 50 and told them hey guys you give me another few days i'll make it 100 he made that 100 and then left uh not just one hr not just the mentor but the few people who worked with him in reliance they send us not just a mail but an acknowledgement that we worked wonderfully with this guy quicker interview i remember this guy coming back to me and telling me how the quicker interview went he is not brilliant in english he can't speak english without grammar mistakes maybe but the attitude is so strong that he says sir aap mujhe job dijiye i will crack it that's the kind of an attitude he went to and of course he got the job there is one girl from uh, up again uh, from uh, west bengal again uh, whose uh, name is anshu her father did not want her to attend business school she didn't want he didn't want her to do an mba she fought she fought at home came down to bangalore spoke to her sister begged her sister to uh, you know finance her mba and today she is doing extremely well in her job the idea what i'm trying to say is it is the person that you are that matters matters what happened in the past can help but doesn't matter what happens today what happens tomorrow is the only thing that matters to you and that is what we teach at vanguard business school we train you for what is required to get you there these are the skills we believe are extremely useful for your job as a manager tomorrow communication people when they come to us think that they can speak in english or half english our training module make sure that you are good in basic english to communicate communicate not just flashy english alone so is communication important in other languages too lots of people don't understand communication is ability to explain exactly or convey exactly what one wants to convey then the most important things we spoke to lots and lots of corporates we believe that statistics data and excel you know the microsoft excel is and are very very important for your growth any job hr systems marketing sales finance of course operations anything these are sacrosanct things the most important thing that are required as a skill for a mba student is to identify the problem analyze the problem because if you can identify the problem correctly and analyze it correctly the solution will come to you automatically because there are multiple solutions but if you don't find out the real problem you will be giving a wrong answer or rather a wrong solution to this you go to a doctor with a stomach ache and he comes he without even testing you anything he gives you let's say a beralgan which is of course for your stomach ache you will never go back to him because he has not even identified the problem you might have overeaten you should have given you you know or it would have been a ulcer where he would have taken you to a little more care or whatever else the real problem may be another thing which is extremely important to uh, in 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 this today's world is team work you see this lots of people saying i work in teams working in teams is different from team work it's about taking people together 
and that i think is a skill that you will learn in a business school very very well simply because the two years of a business school good business school again i'm using this word takes you through so many projects so many seminars which you have to work with your team members that you are willy nilly forced to learn you are forced to understand and that is what makes it very very important and the last two things which are hr skills lots of people don't understand but you need to learn from marketing operations finance and of course for systems also is conflict management teams and outside teams and negotiation within the teams and outsiders too with with respect to outsiders too these are the skills remember conflict management team work and negotiation these are all about you know understanding oneself understanding the person in front of you so it is a more of a eq thing emotional quotient communication is about learning language a little bit of a iq is your data excel etc please understand therefore even if you have been very very bad in your uh, school days or very good in your school days all these things have to be learned and you have never learned this in your degree or in engineering till now and that is what makes it really really useful that these are the skills if you develop you will go a long way in your career it's therefore about choices let me just take you through two guys nothing wrong with them there are two saurabhs that i know of both of them graduated from an iim one guy went to iim calcutta incidentally the other guy went to i am indor what do you think you think that the guy from i am calcutta which is supposedly a better college than i am indor the guy would be doing much much better both of them passed out at most at the same time with a very very average gpas at that point of time in their respective colleges both were very talented both were also hard working of course but one is earning more than a crore rupees a year and the other one is earning about 45 lakhs per annum a year both of them graduated about 8 10 lakhs 8 10 years back 10 12 years actually to be precise what is the difference what has gone different between the two people this guy who is earning a crore is an i am indor chap and the guy who is earning 45 lakhs per annum is a i am calcutta chap and the reason why it is the person to identify the correct choice is what makes it different while i'm not saying the uh, old uh, businesses are any bad it is just that if you do not go understanding the real wave and if you do the same things again and again you will be left a little behind than the peers that you have today we talk about digital marketing today we talk about e-commerce data analysis lots of people have this idea about what is digital marketing let me explain to you i still have to sell the soap i still have to sell a phone i still have to sell uh, a tv or anything for that matter so the basics of marketing does not change what changes is how i sell it and through which medium i sell it just think about it there was a time and some of you wouldn't have been born where there was only one newspaper or two newspapers there was only one radio channel and there was only uh, one uh, or two uh, you know tv channels so therefore if you had to advertise you had to go to that one uh, times of india or a hindustan times or a deccan herald or whatever else deccan chronicle hindu whichever depending on which state or a telegraph if you are in calcutta you have to go to the all india radio or you have to go to probably your uh, doordarshan beyond that there was nothing called mar- the marketing the the advertisement that you come out with the positioning the segmenting all of them were there but you had only a limited medium to go through but today you talk about it i mean there are hundreds of tv channels there are tens of Uh, radio channels your uh, newspapers are so many of them forget about newspapers there are so many online newspapers there are so many online news 
uh, websites itself and add to that the millions of websites which have been created. How does one market to a vast variety of people? Somebody likes Flipkart, somebody likes Amazon, somebody likes Snapdeal, somebody likes XYZ. How do I know who is where as my target customer? So digital marketing is not anything different from marketing, but marketing in the digital way, understanding the Facebooks, understanding the Instagrams, understanding the Snapchats, understanding the Twitters of the world and how people work on those areas. So the, the beauty of an MBA is not just about uh, learning the concepts, but also understanding the newer concepts like e-commerce. Data analysis. Data analysis is always there. It's not that it's new. But only looking at data analysis will not help you. Understanding the business side of the data is what is going to make you strong. People are talking about artif artificial intelligence, machine learning, financial technology, fintech as they call it, or education technology, edtech as they call it, deep learning. Which of these things will really do well? Nobody knows. But you should be aware while making sure that your fundamentals of business are correct. Because the fundamentals of business have not changed in 2000 years or 20,000 years for that matter when the I think this world uh, commerce started for that matter, barter system started somewhere. But the way to do business will change. So it is important the choice that you make of how you plan. And that's what my next point is all about. How do you plan your career perfectly? You can't plan. You, just to because artificial intelligence is good, you will not go there. Just to because a uh, guitarist is going to earn a lot of money, you will start not learning guitar. You may be pathetic at it. You have to find out about your self-cast. Much before you understand yourself, you need to get the attitude right. I was talking about Amresh or Anshu or Karan or anybody else that I've talked about. Please understand that the first basic thing they were good at is that that they were absolutely, absolutely with the right attitude. This then what once you understand your career, once once you know that you want to plan your career, you get the attitude correct, saying that you are ready to put in effort, you understand your strengths. There will be certain score skills that you can uh, you are you are good at. Uh, speaking with people, communicating with people, you are a go-getter or you are a person who can sit at home, uh, sit and, uh, on a desk for an hours together and do it. You are very good at numbers. What are the score skills that you have? Utilize those score skills and map it to the sectors where there is going to be growth. So identify these growth sectors and their requirements. Make a 5 year plan. Please understand that don't make a 100 year plan, 20 year plan, five year, uh, 25 year plan kind of thing. It's not going to work. 5 years, lots of things are going to change. Even at Vanguard, what we do is, we train you, we teach you, we, we, we make sure that our curriculum is perfect for the next 5 years. We also believe that in these 5 years, you will keep learning so that it will help you for the next 5 and the next 5 and the next 5. The, the, the two things. One, how to learn way to think and make the plan. These are the three things which are very, very important. In addition to these making five-year plans, what you need to obviously do, my friends, is you need to add more things to your curriculum. Don't just start. If you do, whether it's engineering or MBA or anything else for that matter, if you only do that, you will only get that much. You need to do much, much more than that. You need to Kind of add. For example, if you are an MB, you can do, uh, if you are interested in quality, TQM, if you are interested in Six Sigma, Lean, etc, etc, kind of things are very, very strong in supply chain management. You need to do them. If you are interested in data analytics, it's not just learning R, Python, SAS, etc, kind of things. You need to go a little more deeper into understanding a lot more of uh, logics of coding also along with these things outside the curriculum of an MBA. And that is what makes you, will make you very very strong i'll you know my 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 when i said i will start this idea and if you spend time with me you will get some idea about what you want to do in your life kind of things my 
सिंसियर एडवाइस माई सिंसियर एडवाइस इज वेरी सिंपल वॉट एवर हैज बीन योर बैकग्राउंड वॉट एवर हैज बीन योर बैकग्राउंड वॉट एवर हैव यू डन टिल नाउ वेदर यू हैव जीरो एक्सपीरियंस फ्रेशर स्टार्टिंग ऑफ योर जर्नी थ्री ईयर्स फाइव ईयर्स एक्सपीरियंस यू नीड टू गेट होल्ड ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड स्टार्ट थिंकिंग ऑफ वॉट शुड यू डू टू मेक श्योर दैट यू मेक अ प्रॉपर प्रॉपर you know uh, next uh, you know next two years of your life or the next six months of your life are going to be the most important ones while you are planning and you know joining either business schools or continuing with your jobs as such what i would like to tell you at vanguard we ensure that we don't only do an mba but there is a lot of personal involvement with in individual students in 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 fact that will help us to understand what are your background are what wh what kind of a problems you come with what kind of your scores have been what are your interests are and therefore look at understanding these core interests your abilities and the growth opportunities that are there in the in the country the industry the business we help mentor and personally personally mentor individual students to get what they need to get there let me take you through some of the wonderful case studies that we have had in vanguard over the last 7 years we started the first batch started in 2011 passed out in 2013 that means the first batch and second batch together are now with 4 years and 5 years and 4 years of experience in the industry already more than 300 students 250 300 students of vanguard alumni are in the uh, industries right now what have they done and how they have shaped of what i have always i mean in the in the very short ppt that i've given you what the core things are there to make your career dream come true make your, make your uh, you know career become very very strong i think some of these things can be reflected from the students of vanguard business school over the last few years let's look at what they have done for example I have with me the first batch B01 B02 alumni Deepankar started in SAS as a business development executive today he handles swiggy in fact all of you know swiggy see please uh, this is this is just in about 5 years we are talking about second avinash started photon infotech is the largest uh, uh, you know uh, app making company in the world he started as a senior executive but today at kpmg which is one of the big four in the world in terms of tax and audit and accounts he is a consultant sudarshan comes from a place called uh, kolar not known to a lot of people except people in uh, karnataka and bangalore bcom graduate started off as a credit analyst at hong kong and shanghai bank corporation banking corporation hsbc today he is a assistant vice president earning a decent decent salary uh, at swiss re again not an indian company swayang had a checkered career came from bhubaneswar rather orissa was a corporate sales executive at hiri which has now taken over by quicker now he is the karnataka state head of mygate mygate is an app which allows Uh, people to come in and out of uh, the various apartments which are there in the south especially in bangalore kind of things and he plans their entire strategies this is just in 4 years swayang was a two uh, b02 batch student then we have b02 b03 again sonal who started off as an operations manager at airtel today she is in dun and brad street at as a unit manager wonderfully doing over the last 3 years 3 and a half years she is again uh, uh, an ama uh, amazing uh, a person from kolkata who has defied all odds and made sure that she is doing a wonderful and trusted is based out of both bangalore and bombay in that sense rajan raja rajan is analyst what start this guy has an excellent 10th 12th degree the moment you have the 10th 12th a kind of an institute which is a kind of a company like chrysalis picked up both at summers given a ppo got him an analyst and now at anz it is an australian new zealand company 
Australian News and Bank actually, he is a senior analyst. He has grown in four years and trust me, these are multinational companies to take one place to another place, uh, to one uh, step to another step takes it about four or five years. These guys have got promoted pretty, pretty fast. I have another uh, a student of mine from B02, Dheeraj, who is a management trainee at a business school uh, as, a, as a test prep company called Vistamind. Today, he is a digital marketing manager. Completely learnt everything on his own. The kind of an attitude one needs to have, one can learn from this uh, guy. You know, nobody taught him. He started. In fact, he teaches at Vanguard once in a while because he has learnt it on his own. And, he, uh, uh, you know, when you learn from somebody who has been on that for the last three, four years, you will see that students also become very, very excited about understanding what's happening in the industry. Vivek Muthu was a uh, person who came with us with three years of experience, prior experience of uh, IT sector, started off as a key accounts manager. Today, he is the vice president at Convert Cart. I mean, the, uh, of course, the reason why he's VP is because in four years he has done that. The reason is because he had already a three, four years of experience. So if, if you come without experience, you will take another two, three years to become that level. But if you come with experience also, you will see that there is a huge, huge growth available kind of things. And last but not too many of them, let me just take you through some of them who are the recent pass outs of the B03, B04 batch. Debo, who is also my placement representative, senior sales executive at Airtel he started. Today he is an assistant manager at State Bank of India. Vasim started as an associate consultant at a feedback consults. Now he is a senior credit analyst at HSBC. Sai was a key account manager at Hyri, similar to the other person I was talking about. And he is now a launch specialist at Amazon. Chandrika, relationship manager at Airtel, account specialist at Amazon. These are all people who got hired from our college at Airtels, the feedbacks, the high res and the best of these companies and have a very, very strong, uh, smooth uh, career path in front of them kind of things. Chandrika, incidentally, had only 44% in graduation and Karan had only 49% in graduation. We at Vanguard, as of today, we do not have a AICTE, but we are going for an AICTE approval too this June. But as long as we don't take that, we have this PGPM which will ensure there is an MBA which you will get it from a Mysore University or any of the other universities you can get. But the PGPM ensures that without the 50% also, you can do an MBA and get recruited in the top ones like even Amazon, nothing short of that. Sai, I was talking about who's a launch specialist in Amazon, an engineer, had absolutely no confidence when he was he, he came to us, 100% clueless engineer at least, but knew exactly what he wanted to do in his career as he went along. Now, what are these cases going to signify or what do they say? They say only one thing, friends. Career after MBA is very, very exciting and for the right attitude and the for, for the right learning and the right uh, opportunities that you get through a business school that you go to probably, you will get the right kind of path for your career itself. Once the per, ca, career path is taken care of, your life path also becomes that much, much more easier to live by and that's what makes it really really good okay with that i think uh, uh with that i think i will take any questions that you have my friends thank you so much for you know on a sunday afternoon 12 o'clock if you are listening to me i think that shows that you are the right kind of a people you are the guys with the right attitude and that's what makes it really, really good. And you need to make a few steps ahead to ensure that not only do do well, but do it really, really well kind of things. Okay, with that uh, short session, I'll stop it right now. And uh, my colleagues here from 
Vanguard are also going to kind of help you answering all those questions. You please mail. I will I will give you my director's number directly, uh, director's email ID. His email ID is Rahul at vanguardbschool.com. If you can send a mail to any one of us or you send a uh, mail to media cell at vanguardbschool.com. We will inform, tell you any, any or every information that you want about Vanguard Business School and you will be very happy about that. Okay. Right. Thank you so much. Wish you all the very best. And uh, I will give you, that is Rahul is one of my directors and this is my email ID. Please feel free to write to either of us. We will be very, very happy to help you out in your careers. Thank you so much and wish you all the very best.